You have a brain cloud. Brain cloud? <sighs> brain cloud? I knew it. Well, I, I didn't know it, but I knew it. Yes. What's the matter with you? Brain cloud. I have a brain cloud. Brain cloud. What is a brain cloud? You didn't get a second opinion about something called a brain cloud? I don't have a brain cloud. Brain cloud, a brain cloud. You think they could think of something better than a brain cloud? Today's topic, which is on Moya Moya, uh, also um, called Puff of Smoke. And uh, definition, uh, it's a vasculopathy, meaning it affects um, blood vessels. Uh, not clear why, but primarily of the uh, internal vascular uh, supply to the brain, uh, mostly the internal carotid arteries, but occasionally uh, vertebral and basal arteries are affected. Puff of smoke is a term that goes back decades, and it's used to denote the overall radiographic appearance of the blood vessels that are being established to try to uh, augment the failing blood supply to the brain. So the, the term puff of smoke has come to be synonymous with the condition of moya moya. losses to price comparison websites and competitor brands, Direct Line adopted hassle-free insurance that just works, guaranteed, as a principle to organise its way of working and win back consumer trust and business. In addition to changing its offers, customer service and website, Direct Line deployed Winston Wolfe, Harvey Keitel's fixer character from Pulp Fiction in its advertising as an archetypal solver of problems, efficiency and courtesy. This case demonstrates the advertising campaign increased volumes of both car and the insurance quotes and staunched the decline in insurance prices. The overall campaign net profit Right. 
made by Nabisco. Were you a fan of these Fitbit? These delicious snacks were in a spit form, making them a bit different from the competition. They were sold for quite a while, but they can't be found anywhere now. Guess we'll just have to stick with goldfish and cheese it. You got those plugs in, evidently, but I, I <laughs> Ed, first of all, I want to say I, I saw Ed on the uh, telethon, and, and you did a great job, and Thanks. and I was caught by surprise because I actually forgot it was on and flipped the TV on there, and you were there right in front of the tote board, and I thought for a second that the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes had gone up to $42,000, <laughs> $42 <laughs> million. Yeah. Yeah, did I, you ever get an envelope from him? <laughs> yeah, do you remember I've one time? One. This is true. Do you remember one time I came on? And I held up the envelope, and I actually got an envelope from Ed. It said, Ed McMahon says, you, Gary Shankling. 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 Sorry S-H-A-N-K-L-I-N-G. Yeah. So yeah. it was a real personal touch. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Computers don't have yeah. no personality. Well, it looked like Ed's hand handwriting. Yeah. Yeah. Really he does all those personally. Um, last time you were here, you did a hysterical did routine. Did you say, I'm sorry to interrupt, did you say you got one from him? Absolutely. My wife, Alex, got one. I got one. It says... Mine was $10 million. You may have already won. And if I won, Ed said, I will present this personally to you on The Tonight Show. And of course, we would both be in prison immediately. And you have a brain cloud. Brain cloud, a brain cloud. You think they could think of something better than a brain cloud?